What's up YouTube family? This is Ben with VW Family Farms and we're back today and we're going to try to uh, we're going to build an evaporative cooler, swamp cooler, whatever you want to call it for our greenhouse. Let's see, today uh, the supplies that I've got, I've got two of these um, uh, rain gutters, the 10 footers I got from, from Lowe's, got the two end caps for them, some 3 quarter inch PVC pipe, three quarter elbow, three quarter cap, and for what I've got, I try to use things that I've got on hand. Uh, I had this on hand, so old barb fitting, that'll go on my, uh, my hose off my water pump, screw into this, <clears throat> which is a, uh, will go into a three quarter coupling, so when I elbow down, I'll just run me a three quarter piece of that down, put the coupling on there, yada yada. Put it together i'll show you how it all goes together in a little bit bulkhead fitting for your drain of course the drill need a um see it was a 3 30 seconds drill bit and that way <clears throat> this is going to be your header of the top of the swamp cooler and you'll drill a 3 30 second hole every inch that way when your water pumps up runs fills this header up it'll drain down through the evaporative cooler pads drain down into here and bulkhead fitting is going to go in there and drain out all makes a continuous circle so anyway i'm going to get ready and we're going to get busy all right to start off with we're going to we're going to cut our two pieces of our gutter i went out there and measured and in the the hole in the greenhouse that i uh built an opening for this it measured 70 inches I don't quite think by the time we put the end caps on there I need to go 70s I'm gonna try to go 69 and 3 quarter and we're gonna see what that'll do of course we're gonna fit it before we uh, before we uh, glue anything together so all right there's our first piece Let's see if we can get these end caps on here. I got the ends on here. I'm going to go put it in the greenhouse and just make sure it's going to fit. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back from the greenhouse. That fit just perfect. Uh, something I didn't say in the uh, parts was I got some waterproof... Uh, silicone I, I use this on my uh, some of my feeders for my beehives but need to uh, put a bead of silicone around the edges of these just to make sure everything's sealed up I'm gonna set this one off to the side while that's drying Sixty-nine, three-quarter, that's for the top, and go back up here to the saw, hard to do this. I know you're just really wanting to see the saw. sides are going to be 34 inches what we need to do on the sides you need to come in here and cut these sides at an angle like that on top and bottom make them fit in the frame 
and then you're going to screw these to the uh, two by fours in the greenhouse. So, thirty-four. Yep. Let me get a couple of these cut, and we'll be right back. All right, next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna take the side ones and how they, they're not gonna fit down in that. So what you do is you measure back <clears throat> inch and three quarter. And we'll take the, uh, the bandsaw and uh, cut that out. That way, we'll cut it down to here and then cut that, cut that little piece out. that one a little bit. <clears throat> then you can either shove that down in there, take your pencil, make some quick marks. Anything there. That one's a little long. One of the things I forgot to mention while I go on the supplies you need, you better get you a uh, inch and a half hole saw, and that is to put in here for the bulkhead fitting. I'm trying to get this where it just perfect. Cause it's too late now. It looks right by the eyeball anyway. Oh yeah. I'm gonna put the bulkhead fitting in there. Suck it down tight. Back on that line. Well, if y'all got a better idea, trying to make a straight line here, put it down there in the comments because I sure I don't know that I'll ever be doing this again, but I think I could sure figure I'd like to figure out a different way of doing it. may be the better than if I just had a big long board down through here. I don't know. Well, I can't think of anything right now. say that a lot I guess. Make it work. Now uh, here's where you get the 336 bit and drill every inch. Now I'm gonna put that uh, drill bit way down in the drill that way we don't go too deep. First let's run through here and mark it every inch. With my tape. There it is. Straight line is bothering me. What if I took a string 
then on top. I can hear Andrew and the kids now. Don't have to be a perfectionist. Y'all gonna edit that part out? Oh my clamps just won't. Oh barely. insulation out of it, drill a hole through the corners, try to get me a chalk line outside, so go outside with a skill saw and uh, cut that block out. Alright, I ran out of room on that other SD card inside, but we got our holes drilled. Now we got a chalk line. If I can do this by myself. What's up guys? Back in the greenhouse. Sorry the uh, the camera battery died as we was cutting the hole out to uh, install the swamp cooler. It's a different day now. We've already got the swamp cooler in as you can see. We uh, didn't have time to stop what we was doing, let the battery charge, but I was going to give you a finished shot of the swamp cooler. What we got here is a uh, Rubbermaid tote with just a little small pump in here. Oh, right there it is. Pumps water over to that header right there and uh, connects into that barb fitting that I showed you. Runs up. 90's into the, into the uh, swamp cooler. Another 90 inside there. Runs all the way, all the way across. Remember all them little holds every inch, saturates the pad, 
Uh, I got a couple of them I think that either isn't flowing right or not sure. But anyway, you can tell a big temperature difference in here. After it fills up in this uh, bottom part, comes out the bulkhead fitting, right back in there, one complete cycle. But anyway, another finished project on the homestead. Plants are doing really well in here. Uh, very, very, very impressed with this greenhouse and everything we're able, able to grow right now. Got some eggplants. Eggplants that we planted outside are already eat up by bugs. Never been able to do very good with eggplants. Basil plant that I put in here to start with. It's rooted and exploding. That right there is the chocolate mint. There is the stevia plant we got at Baker Creek. A little bit of sad news. Our lemon, that was on our lemon tree. It wilted up. So we backed up and punted. We pulled it out of the potting soil, washed it all off, put it in the rocks, and I think I think we have another, I don't know if you can see it there, well, maybe, maybe another lemon starting, so we'll see how it does in the, in the grow bed. Vining spinach, starting to vine up. Of course, there is our uh, kiwi, I think he said it's a kiwi vine that we got at Baker Creek. All the peppers are looking good. Dark, dark green. Trying to root a little bit of uh, rosemary. We cut these sprigs off. We're gonna try to try to see if they'll root up. They always have. And uh, anyway, swamp coolers in. Let's see. Thermostat shows. I don't know if you can see that. It shows 92 degrees in here. My fan is pulling the air through the swamp cooler. So, another successful job completed on the homestead. Alright, thanks for watching. If you liked our videos, give us a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there. Uh, today we hit 50 subscribers. <laughs> Hit that little bell down there. Get the get the notifications coming. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching and God bless. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, you might want to check out those videos. And if you want to subscribe, click down there. Thanks for watching.